Hey there kids, it's me again. I just wanted to say that version 0.6 of our game is available and online on the internet. There's not too many new features to it, but the few we have, I, I sort of leave it in, in there as a little sandbox for you to play and toy with it if you want to, but as you saw in the beginning, we re-implemented re the difficulty system, so enemies that spawn, they will have their HP and damage readjusted depending on the difficulty you choose. There's item boxes that drop things, there's moving platforms and falling platforms that actually work. Staple marks of the platforming genre. And more or less necessary for a game like this if you ask me. Enemies now jump a little bit more intelligently, or at least they can see where the edges and the pitfalls of the level geometry are, so they can jump over those. I'm not saying they jump too perfectly, but at least they don't fall down just as stupidly as, as they did before, and it was all too easy to just run past them. Enemies also have an entry to the whole event system that we have, so they can trigger things in the level. For example, here you see the boss has gotten a little uh, a little connection to the level that shoots rockets out of the walls, which opens up a whole new dimensions for how bosses can have environmental attacks and they can trigger things in the level that you need to watch out for. Also, if you head over to our Twitter, you'll find that Martin has posted a new sprite of a civilian character that we thought about using for for crowds or any innocent civilian characters that will, you will come across in the level that you can either choose to spare or slaughter. And there's a, two new songs that he's been working on as well, both of which you can find on the Twitter. Furthermore, I mentioned last time I was, was going to talk about how I actually went about doing it with the physics. So I did go back to Unity's old collision detection uh, instead of using my own. But I do, I do still use my own method for character dynamics, so the way their velocity and acceleration get set, so they have gravity and they have knockback forces, all of that is my own code that runs on the CPU. Uh, I find that if I went back to using Unity's own rigid body system for that, uh, we would just have a, lots of wonky behaviors that we couldn't figure out how to solve. So I think I found a sweet spot here, we're using my own character dynamics with Unity's collision detection. I found that it works for our purposes and the frame rate is a lot better before. It's now steadily over 100 even in large crowds of enemies and when you actually play the build of the game it's even better. So I would say it turned out quite well in the end anyway, even though I had to take a massive detour and get really bogged down with uh, two or three different ways to make physics work, either on the CPU or the GPU, and neither of them turned out to be good enough. Or oh, so eventually I think it turned out for the better of us that I didn't use my own system for that. But so, the plan ahead. Really the only thing that's left until we are finally system complete is the inventory. So I would like to make a system for handling menu trees so you can have submenus. If you choose your weapon in one menu then a little panel is going to pop up where you can choose... You can view the stats and description and you can upgrade it or, or customize it and all that is going to occur in the new menu that pops out of the first one. And also there is the question of having uh, stats that affect the player affects the player over time, like poisoning or bleeding or buffs that's going to uh, increase your stats gradually, or just over time. And after those two things, I think we can finally, finally begin work on the content side so we can start churning out a bit bigger level, more assets, more more, more pixel art, the things the things that I've been longing to that are actually the fun side of doing the game. But not before I have had a real vacation after this after this long semester. I'm planning on taking a bike trip uh, across country, across Sweden. Uh, it's probably going to take five or, five or six days and I hope I will survive to tell the tale and the mosquitoes have not eaten me up completely. But yeah, I will keep you posted when we feel ready with the system side, and after that I think you can expect a lot more frequent updates. So yeah, I'm gonna stick my new, to my new habit and keep these videos under the 5 minute mark, hopefully. We'll see how it turns out when I edit this. But I think that is all I have to say. You have a good week now, and see you in uh, 2 or 3 weeks, depending on when the, next, when the next sprint is gonna be finished. But I promise you we will be system ready by then. See you around! And thank you for watching.